Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of March, 2024. I hope everybody has had a great week. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Libra sign out there. So do take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. Or you can also check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. Please keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading. And as always, Libra, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Libra? Libra. All right, Libra, you are starting out with the King of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed. So you're definitely thinking about love this week. Um, I do see that there is somebody that you have your eye on here. You may have had some problems with this person. In fact, I see that there's been an ending, but you're wanting to resolve those problems and you're you're hoping that you know there can be a new beginning. So let's see who is in your energy. Show me who's in Libra's energy. All right, the person in your energy has the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the world. So this person is walking away from something that is not serving them. Something that, you know, wasn't working out. They may have failed to really look at the details of this. And there are details that this person is not really looking at with regard to the connection with you. But they're ending something here so they can have a new beginning. Um, I do feel like they're walking away from something they feel is not serving them. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between Libra and this person. The Five of Swords. Yeah, there's been conflict between the two of you. And it looks like somebody might be very much in their ego as well. Um, it looks like the conflict may have gotten a little ugly at some point. What's affecting the connection is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You're both holding back emotionally. You're not giving to the connection. Um, and this really is not the energy that I'm seeing here Um you want to work things out, but I feel like this person's not, not giving, you're not giving emotionally to the connection. Um, so you're both holding back, likely because of ego or because there has been this conflict or both. What's the outcome at the end of the week? Show me the outcome. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a sense of loss here. There's a sense of loss being um, left out in the cold, a sense of rejection. All right, so at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Now, this is a conversation. Um, it's underlying energy, and this is a conversation that's going to bring clarity to the situation. So either this has already happened and it's underlying it, or it's, it's something that's going to happen. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the King of Cups here? Page of Cups, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you love this person, Libra. I do feel like you love this person. You want a new beginning, but I also feel like you may think this person's a bit of a player. That, um, you know, the connection between the two of you has been very erratic. On again, off again, on again, off again. And that may be where the conflict has come in. But I can see you do love this person and you do want a new beginning with this person. Now, some of you um, might also have somebody else that's interested in you um, right now. And you could be interested in them as well. Four of coins reversed and the sun yeah, you're, you're trying to figure out how to resolve the problems. I do see you letting your guard down. I see you letting go of grudges, letting go of energy that might not be serving you. 
And I do feel like you are wanting to move towards your happiness. And you feel like, Libra, that if you could resolve the problems with this person, you could both let down your guard and, you know, like get a clean slate here, that things would be happier, that you would be happier with, with that. So I feel like you have a very conciliatory um, energy here. You do have feelings for this person. Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. Fire sign energy. I'm seeing strong Leo energy. A lot of fire energy too. So this person could have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. Or they um, could be one of those signs. But I feel like with this ending, you've stressed and worried about this a lot. And I feel like you're wanting to move out of that energy you may feel that this person has a wandering eye, that this person is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a uh, player. So I do feel like you've, since the ending of this connection, you've, you've been really very upset, very worried about that, kind of uh, thinking about it a lot and also thinking about, you know, reconciling, coming back together. I do see you taking some sort of action here. Let's see um, why the Eight of Cups is here. Let's look at their energy. Queen of Wands reversed. And the Nine of Coins reversed. Yeah, so this person, um, there could have, you're definitely not on the same page. I am going to say that. There is a lot of passion here. I do feel like this was a very physical, very passionate connection. And what I'm seeing is that this person is actually um, moving towards something that is very codependent. Um, so they could have some sort of codependency that's in their life. I feel like this person is very insecure as well. Um, there's a need for this person to be recognized. And I also feel like this person can at times be very bitter. They can be very mean in the way that they approach so I don't feel like you're the one that's in your ego here. This person has um, has a lot of codependency issues and that's what's causing them to walk away. Um, why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, it's that on again, off again energy. So we have the world in reverse and we have the Knight of Swords. There's something, there's a lot of things in this person's life that's not working out. They could have some financial difficulties. I do feel like they're going to come forward though, and they are going to communicate with you. But this person is very brash in the way that they talk. Um, I feel like it's going to be impulsive communication. And they're trying to, to end something. There, there's something here this person is trying to end. Something that's not working out. And they're having a very difficult time doing that. They're stuck in that energy. It looks like a codependent relationship. Um, so th this person may have tried to bring you in as a third party. And when you wouldn't do that, they opted to, to move towards that codependent relationship. So let's see why the world is here. Because there, there are definitely emotions, there's feelings here, but neither of you are expressing them. It's like a standoff. All right, we have the Two of Wands and we have the Six of Coins. So this part, I'm sorry, Six of Wands. So this person is ending something and they're making plans to move in your direction because they do want success with you. There's something that the, this person is having a very difficult time moving away from. Um, something that isn't working out, something that is very codependent energy. And I feel like this person, um, if they live at a distance, they may be planning to travel with this Two of Wands, but they're making plans and they... They're actually choosing you, but there's something here that they know they have to end. They have to end something so something else can begin. And the thing is, is that you're very worried about whether or not this person is actually going to end whatever that is. 
I do feel like they know that you're feeling very rejected and very abandoned here. So there's something that this person is moving towards or was moving towards, or maybe even currently, that is very codependent energy. Let's look at the uh, energy between the two of you. And that's what's causing this inconsistency between the two of you as well. The tower reversed and the moon. Yeah, so you just don't know what's going on with this person. You, I feel like you wanna reach out and talk to this person, but you don't know if you should do so because you don't know if it's gonna cause more conflict between the two of you. So I feel like you, you're you staying kind of quiet here. I feel like um, you're, you're moving silently. You do love this person though. Now in their energy, they know that this, you know, them walking away from you. I feel like this person walked away from this connection and they moved towards something that was very codependent. And I feel like it's because you you were refusing to be involved with them in, in a third party situation. So there was a lot of conflict here. It caused a tower moment for this person. This person is um, fear-based and they're definitely in their ego. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? You both have feelings for each other, but neither of you are expressing those feelings. It's like a, a standoff. I feel like you're trying to let this go. You're trying to just move towards your own happiness here. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, more conflict. Queen of Cups reversed. Three of Cups. All right, so you're both holding back. Now, this is what's affecting this connection currently. All of the conflict, there's a lot of conflict. I feel like, you know, it's been up and down, up and down with this person. And at this point, I feel like you may even be going through a little bit of depression. Um, you're definitely kind of keeping things to yourself. Although you're watching what's going on with this person. You're hoping that this person will come towards you and offer, you know, an apology or offer some sort of communication about what's going on. Um, and they do want to resolve whatever happened between the two of you, but they're not taking action towards doing that. And it's solely because of insecurity. Now, the conflict has had a lot to, you know, ha it's had a lot to do with this. It's what's caused both of you to pull back. You in particular, Libra, are very pulled back emotionally. You know that the two of you are not on the same page. You've realized this, and you're trying to just release and let go. You're trying to let the universe kind of handle things, but you feel like things are unequal between the two of you. I feel like this person tried to put you in a third-party situation, and you're not having any of it. So, But you still have feelings for this person, and that's causing you to you know, really really feel some kind of way. I, I get it. Now, in their energy, they know that there is still unfinished business that's going on here. I do feel like they want to talk to you, and I do feel like they are going to come forward. There is going to be communication, um, but this person wants a reconciliation, but they don't, they don't trust that you're going to take them back. I feel like you made your, your stance very clear with this person and you holding back the way you are emotionally is causing them to not trust you. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying that they want to resolve the problems. They want to, you know, in this cycle, they feel stuck in this cycle of things not working out. Um, like I said, they could even be having some financial problems as well. So they're going to come forward, and I do feel like they do want reconciliation. They want to work out the problems. Um, they don't trust that you actually do love them. They don't trust that you actually care. I feel like you you took a firm stance here. You let it be known, and then you went silent. And I feel like this person in your energy, you know, thinks that, 
that. Okay, well, Libra walked away, and so they obviously don't love me. All right, so let's look at your outcome, but that's just not the truth. I think that you're just, um, you don't want an unequal give and take. I feel like you gave a lot to this connection, Libra, and this person didn't. All right, we have the Four of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Page of Swords. All right, so in your energy, Libra, I see you really thinking about this person a lot. Um, they're... There's something to do with a marriage or a, another commitment that's here. And I do feel like it's making you feel that this person is just more of a player. I do feel like you would like to be with this person and you would like a new beginning. But you feel this person is something of a player. So marriage is affecting this. And I do feel that with the Seven of Pentacles, you're not going to invest in this. You're not, you're refusing to invest in it as long as this person is still connected to someone else. The person that's in your energy, I feel like they're going to communicate with you. It's going to be something small initially. It could lead to an argument. And that's what they're trying to avoid. I think that the com there's been a lot of conflict in this connection. So this person um, is feeling rejected. They're feeling, you know, left out in the cold. And so are you. It's because you're both holding back. And I'm, I'm telling you, there is love here. Um, this person is checking to see what it is that you're doing. Are you going to invest in this? Are you going to continue to be cold? Because this person's perceiving you as being cold. Um, they're making plans to come towards you but they have to end something. They know that there's something here that has to end if they're going to have a successful new beginning with you. So this person is watching you in some form. I don't know if it's social media or, you know, but they're watching to see what it is that you're going to do. Yeah, this, they, neither of you are really investing in the connection though. It's like you're both kind of watching each other from the sidelines, waiting for one of you to budge. So, bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles reversed. Now, that's underlying energy. It shows a lack of cooperation. The two of you are not working together to resolve the problem or to resolve whatever this conflict is. Um, and I feel like you're not budging. You're, you're very much... Um, you're very much in your energy of just standing your ground here. I don't feel like you're emotionally given, but see, they are too. Although I do feel that, you know, you going cold on this person, they tried to walk away from this. I do feel that they physically have walked away from this because you weren't cooperating with a third party situation, but they know that there's something that they have to, put an end to in order to have a successful new beginning. And I feel like they're planning that. They're planning that and they're watching you. They're, they're you know, growing impatient as well because they do feel very rejected as well. It's like this standoff. You're at an impasse with this person. Let's pull some oracles and see... if there's any messages for Libra. All right, so we have two. We have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events of your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Interesting. So divine timing could be at play here. And then... We have, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. I feel like that's a message from your person. This person still feels very much connected to you, Libra, but I do feel that, you know, you, you've you gone really cold. You gave, you gave, you gave. I feel like this person tried to put you in a third party and I feel like you just went cold on them and they know they have to end something in order to have a successful beginning with you. But they feel very, very much, you know, attached to you still. All right, so the saga continues. 
All right, I hope this has been helpful and given you some understanding or clarification as to what's going on with this person. If you have resonated with this, hit that like button and be sure to also subscribe to my channel. Until I see you in your next reading, namaste.